What time is it on the moon? Well, soon we might actually be able to answer that because the US has asked NASA to establish a unified standard of time for the moon. Um, well, people might be wondering why is the time on the moon not just the same as the time on Earth, you know, in, in our own everyday life, you know, time you know, ticks by. Um, but Einstein's law of general relativity tells us that time isn't absolute. It changes depending on where you are in the universe. The rate that clocks tick depends on the gravity where you are. One of the most intriguing aspects of our universe is the complexity and peculiarity of time. Although it seems like a constant that governs the rhythm of our lives, time's behavior is actually not as straightforward as it may appear. The flow of time itself is influenced by various factors, including gravity and motion, as famously revealed by Albert Einstein's theories of relativity. For example, time passes ever so slightly faster atop a mountain compared to the valleys of Earth. This phenomenon, which may seem trivial on Earth, becomes far more significant as humanity extends its reach beyond our planet, particularly in the context of lunar exploration. The renewed space race, marked by efforts to establish permanent settlements on the moon, has brought this issue to the forefront. As nations like the United States, China, and their allies prepare for future lunar missions, scientists are grappling with a critical problem. How to keep accurate time on the moon where the seconds tick ever so slightly faster than they do on Earth. Before diving into the intricacies of lunar timekeeping, it's essential to understand how time is measured on Earth. For millennia, humanity relied on natural systems like sundials and the phases of the moon to track the passage of time. While these methods were sufficient for ancient civilizations, the rise of mechanical clocks in the 14th century, followed by the advent of more advanced timekeeping systems, made it clear that a higher level of precision was needed. By the 20th century, timekeeping had become an exacting science, especially after Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein introduced the concept that gravity can affect the passage of time. This means that the closer a clock is to a massive object like Earth, the slower time will pass for it compared to a clock farther away. As a result, clocks on the surface of the Earth tick at a different rate than clocks in orbit. In the modern world, time is measured with incredible precision using atomic clocks. These devices rely on the vibrations of atoms to track the passage of time with extreme accuracy. Atomic clocks are now used worldwide, and their readings are averaged to produce Coordinated Universal Time, UTC, the global standard for timekeeping. However, the increasing reliance on precision time measurement for everything from navigation and communication to financial transactions has made it clear that even slight variations in the passage of time must be accounted for, with occasional leap seconds added to keep UTC in sync with the Earth's irregular rotation. Now, as humanity looks toward returning to the moon, the complexities of timekeeping have become even more pronounced. Unlike Earth, where time is measured in accordance with the planet's rotation and gravitational pull, the moon's own characteristics introduce additional complications. One of the most significant issues is that a single Earth day would be about 56 microseconds shorter on the lunar surface. While this may seem like a tiny difference, over time, such discrepancies can add up, causing significant inaccuracies in long-term operations, such as navigation and communication with spacecraft. To ensure that astronauts on the moon can maintain accurate schedules, communicate effectively, and navigate the lunar surface. It is crucial to account for these subtle variations in time. NASA and its international partners, including the European Space Agency, ESA, and other spacefaring nations, are working together to solve the lunar timekeeping puzzle. The challenge is not just to create a lunar time zone, as some might assume, but rather to develop an entirely new time scale a system of measurement that reflects the peculiarities of time on the moon. This new timescale will allow for accurate synchronization of activities on the lunar surface and ensure that astronauts can operate within a reliable framework for time. According to Cheryl Gramling, the lunar position, navigation, and timing expert at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, the goal is not simply to establish a new time zone, but to create a time system that considers the faster ticking of seconds on the moon. Gramling's team is working with international partners to devise a time system that space agencies can agree on 
and implement as part of their lunar missions. A recent memo from the White House has directed NASA to outline a plan for this new timescale by December 31st, 2025, and to implement it by 2026, the same year the U.S. aims to return astronauts to the moon for the first time in five decades. This time system will be crucial for ensuring that future lunar missions can operate smoothly, from astronaut navigation on the surface to communication with Earth-based mission control. To address the timekeeping challenges on the moon, scientists must deploy highly precise clocks to the lunar surface. However, the moon's environment presents additional challenges that will require different strategies than those used on Earth. While atomic clocks are well-suited for long-term stability, they are expensive and may not be practical for all lunar missions. Instead, scientists are exploring the use of different types of clocks, including crystal oscillators, which offer good short-term stability at a lower cost. However, there are trade-offs involved. Crystal oscillators, while cheaper, may be less accurate over time, and their potential to drift by milliseconds or more could create serious problems for navigation. For precision operations, such as spacecraft navigation and communication, clocks must be synchronized to within tens of nanoseconds, a level of accuracy that requires top-tier equipment. In order to achieve this level of precision, scientists plan to deploy a variety of clocks, possibly embedded in satellites orbiting the moon or placed at specific locations on the lunar surface. By using a network of different clocks, each contributing to the overall timekeeping system, scientists hope to create a lunar time scale that is accurate enough to support complex lunar missions. The creation of a new lunar time scale is not just a technical challenge, but also a diplomatic one. As space exploration becomes an increasingly international effort, coordination between different space agencies and nations is crucial. This is especially true as NASA and its partners prepare to establish LunaNet, a network that will connect lunar activities and ensure they are coordinated in real time. LunaNet can be likened to an advanced version of the internet, combined with a global navigation satellite system. It will serve as the backbone for lunar communications, navigation, and timekeeping. And it will require international cooperation to ensure that all contributors to the network adhere to a shared set of standards. The success of LunaNet and the new lunar timescale it will support will depend on the ability of spacefaring nations to work together toward a common goal. However, it remains to be seen whether countries like China, which are not part of the Western Space Alliance, will be on board with this new timekeeping framework. The discussions surrounding this issue will likely take place through international standard-setting bodies like the International Astronomical Union, but it will be critical for NASA and its partners to navigate these diplomatic challenges as they develop the system. For astronauts on the Moon, the implications of lunar timekeeping go far beyond the technical. Time on the Moon operates according to a completely different rhythm compared to Earth. The Moon's unique orbital mechanics mean that one lunar day is equivalent to roughly 29.5 Earth days. 14 days of continuous daylight, followed by 14 days of darkness. This long cycle of light and darkness will create new challenges for astronauts in terms of their daily routines and their ability to coordinate activities. Additionally, astronauts working on the lunar surface will need to synchronize their efforts with one another, often in real time, while managing the complexities of living in an environment with extreme temperature variations and isolation. The ability to rely on precise timekeeping will be vital for everything from scientific experiments to lunar navigation. Time, for example, will be essential for ensuring that astronauts stay on schedule when they conduct experiments, explore the surface, or interact with robotic systems. However, Gramling notes that the new lunar time scale could provide an opportunity to rethink how humans experience time altogether. The moon's unusual day-night cycle with its 14-day stretches of sunlight and darkness, presents a unique opportunity for astronauts to establish new routines and schedules tailored to the Moon's environment. These schedules may be fundamentally different from anything experienced on Earth, but they will be guided by a reliable and precise system of timekeeping that helps ensure mission success. Right. While timekeeping on the Moon is undoubtedly a critical task in the short term, it also holds long-term implications for the future of space exploration. If scientists can establish a reliable and accurate timescale for lunar missions, they will have laid the groundwork for similar systems on other celestial bodies, such as Mars, asteroids, and beyond.
For example, NASA's long-term goal of sending astronauts to Mars will require a timekeeping system that accounts for the unique characteristics of the Martian day and its relationship to Earth time. If the system developed for the moon works as planned, it will provide valuable lessons and technologies that can be applied to other missions in the future. The quest for accurate timekeeping on the moon is not just a scientific challenge, it is an opportunity to advance human understanding of time and its relationship to the universe. As humanity prepares for a new chapter in lunar exploration, the development of a precise lunar time scale will be foundational to the success of future missions. By collaborating internationally and leveraging the lessons learned from Earth-based timekeeping systems, NASA and its partners are working to create a new system that will allow humanity to navigate, communicate, and operate on the moon with unprecedented precision. This endeavor not only marks a crucial step in the exploration of our closest celestial neighbor, but also paves the way for deeper, more ambitious missions into the cosmos. In a universe governed by the laws of relativity, the ability to measure time accurately, whether on Earth, the Moon, or beyond, will remain one of the most important tools in humanity's quest to explore the stars.